What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about Prader Willis versus Engelman Syndrome. So let's get straight to the point, we're going to keep the subject clear, brief and illustrated. So let's get started. So, Prader Willis versus Engelman Syndrome. Now, what is going to occur here is there's going to be a methylation imprinting which is going to turn off the genes. Now, when you're looking at this, you're going to want to figure out whether it's from the maternal or the paternal side. So the two diseases are essential to illustrate this methylated deletion on chromosomes 15. So let's figure out how we differentiate between the two and how we figure out which one it is. All right. So we're going to have two different possibilities. Now we're either going to have Prader-Willi syndrome or Engelman syndrome. Now you can easily distinguish uh, for pa uh, when it's paternal, there's going to be a P as there is in Prader-Willi syndrome. So you can use that to associate and maternal uh, Engelman syndrome, there's an M and an M. So you can use those to associate, and you can just remember, so uh, prader willi is for paternal, and Engelman is for maternal. So yeah. So when it comes to prader willi syndrome, there's actually going to be a few different traits you can find in the patient. Now the first we're going to find is hyperphagia. Now this is basically the patient's inability to stop eating. Now what this is going to do is going to lead to obesity, as you can see here, and in general, they're going to have a short stature, which is really going to accentuate the obesity. Now, what's next is hypotonia, which is basically uh, the patient's inability to stay sturdy. They're really floppy, as you can see in the picture here with the baby. And the last is going to be uh, hypogonadism. Now, basically what this is, is the patient's uh, testicles are not going to be at a normal size. They're either going to be very, very small and uh, not very uh, visible. Now, when it comes to Engelman syndrome, you're going to notice that it's a lot less uh, physical based and it's more in how uh, the patient acts. Now, the first thing we're going to be noticing is that the person is very cheerful, they're very happy, they're like a happy puppet. Um, you can also notice inappropriate laughter. So, at random instances where there is no need to laugh, uh, the patient will start laughing. Uh, again, you can find instances where the person will have frequent seizures. There's also going to be some speech delay. And lastly, there will be some mental retardation when it comes to Engelman syndrome. Right. So a little overview of everything we've just looked at. So it, it, again, it's a deletion uh, for genetic imprinting. Now we got to figure out which side is coming from. Is it the mother's side or the father's side? If it is from the mother's side, if it is maternal, it's going to be Engelman. Again, the person is going to be very happy and cheerful. They're going to have some inappropriate laughter. Uh, there's going to be seizures involved. Uh, most likely some speech delay and mental retardation. Now, if it is coming from the father's side, it is going to be called prader willi syndrome. Now, uh, this is going to be more physical. It's going to be hypotonia, short stature, obesity, uh, hypogonadism, and hyperphagia. So those are the things you want to keep in mind uh, when remembering which side it is. All right. So... Just before we finish the video, I just want to show you guys this really amazing book. It's called Butchered Gardens in Eden of the Pacific. Uh, it's a really, really great book. It shows off the amazing uh, gardens in British Columbia, more specifically Victoria, BC. There's some beautiful poetry in there that really accentuates the amazing photography. So definitely go check it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We really, really appreciate the support. Make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the comments. Let us know if we did anything wrong, if there's anything we can improve upon. Uh, anything we missed, any any requests for new videos, we really love you guys' feedback. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. We do post every single week. So yeah, definitely check us out. And thank you guys so much for the support.